Yeah, that's a much better channel there. Ooh, that's a flat. That will be a flatty. That will be a flathead. Hey guys, welcome to Whisker Pig Fishing. We're on Lake Greenwood today. Um, gas has done got up to where we're going to have to fish a little closer to the house. Uh, we'll venture out every now and then. Uh, it's that springtime, man. The temperature is starting to come up. Water starting to rise. Everything's starting to look more and more promising. So come along today and let's see what it has for us. Here we go, guys. We're getting hit. Oh, he's gonna get it or not? But he's so bad at it. All right, guys. He's gonna get it this time. Looks like. Oh yeah, hooked up, fella. This is about two and a half feet deep right there. Let's see what he is. You're dragging on a little shallow float right here. Got the bait rod all hung up. Let's see what we got. I don't think he's ginormous, but he's a fish. All right, I'm gonna drop the float off the planer board clip. Y'all see, I got this float on a planer board clip right here. I'm just gonna drop it down there and we'll reel it all back up here. Little small channel cap. Looks like he's hit good. We're gonna do the dead in and do the lifter on him. And it worked out. Actually got him in the boat. He hit it and come back and got it again. I'm gonna come on a piece of white perch filet. He's got a little bit of mud on his belly, but he ain't been he ain't been laying in that stuff all that time. Eh? We're gonna throw him back over in there. Reset our junk, these floats are just something to let you get your line out away from the boat a little bit farther. I'm only letting it down. We five, six feet deep. I usually let it down about seven or eight feet. But we got one of the boat skunks gone. Go, I think I'm gonna hook this dude up. Oh yeah, got him. Got him hooked up. Oh, he's jumping. Sucker's leaping like a tarpon out there. He thinks he might be a saltwater fish. Another channel. Another channel. Looks like he's hooked good. We're just going to lift this guy. There we go. Not a bad one. Got him good too, see that? Hooked him up good. That was a piece of bluegill. A little small piece of bluegill. Nice down though. Ain't got no mud on him nowhere. Maybe that's about to act up on him. 
We thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah, maybe they're about to get active on us. That fish right there was probably, I would guess, somewhere around seven to ten feet right there. We're going to load it back up, see if we get another one. Up on the flat. Up on the flat. Let's see what this one's gonna look like. Straight up there. It's a little small piece of bluegill. Yeah, I started catching bait a while ago. I've been sitting here catching brim. I need some bait right now. Bite, I'm gonna catch after him. Oh, that dude's whisker hook. Whisker, whisker. We get in, we'd be doing good. That stuff is just barely hooked up. Say whisker hook. We can't get him turned. We can see what's going on now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That dude's just barely hooked in the, just a little bit of the lip right there. I mean, barely, barely got him. But had him good enough. Another little channel. See his belly's nice and clean. Fish are a little bit active. They just a lot shallower than what I was expecting them to be. Feel let go. We send them back over in there. All right, we well, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these rods. I got some thrown out in the channel right here. No bites. We're getting the bites up on this point. We're gonna take and pull some of these rods and throw them on this point. And while we watch these brim poles and see can we catch one. Spot, man. Oh, getting a little tap on this back rod. Right. Gone with it, guys. Uh. Yeah, that dude's gone with it, man. I'm wanting to leave him go somewhere else, but <laughs> it's hard to leave them when they're biting there about every five minutes, six. It's hard to leave them when they're biting like that. better channel there. Oop, that's a flat. That will be a flatty. That will be a flathead. Let's see what I can get my line undone here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> He's leaving, man. I suck it done decide He's gonna jump. I ain't seen that before. I guess I had him picked up out of the water. He just decided he was going to try to get away, get loose any way he could. Ah, let's 
Let's look, I'm gonna get this guy here. It's one of them camo, camo ones here. Yeah, dude, that's one of them digital camo fish. Yep, we can see on his belly, he got a little bit of mud, but look, check out the color on him, man. Look at the side of him. That's one of them digital camo guys there. It's a pretty fish. Yep, pretty fish. Look at that guy. It's a nice little channel there. I mean, little flathead. We thank you, sir. We appreciate your business. Yeah, I keep getting ready to go. Every time I get ready to go, I get another hit. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? It's been nine minutes. All right, guys, that's going to do us here today from Lake Greenwood. I'd like to thank you for joining me here on Whisker Pig Fishing. We had a pretty good day. Uh, caught some caught some fish. Had a flat head out of the crowd, and I'm starting to see them move up a little bit shallower. Things are starting to make that little turn right there. The transition, the transition is going on right now. I'd like to thank you for joining me and check us out on Facebook and on Instagram at Whisker Pig Fishing. And as always, have a great day and God bless.